Hey guys, Richard of Fish and Auto Channel and Reefs.com and today we're actually in the headquarters of the secret lair of CBTV's Carlos. How are you my friend? I'm doing well, how about yourself? I'm doing very well. Thank you for inviting us to your lovely home. Thank you. I've been looking forward to visiting this place because like myself, Carlos is very similar to me. We're equipment junkies. Yes, we are. I know he has a lot of goodies. Also, I know he's constantly testing for stuff. So I've been looking forward to just visiting this place and just looking through everything and just getting immersed in this environment. And it's been what a treat it has been so far. So we're here today in Carlos's house and we're going to learn something about one of my favorite automatic tester in the market. To my, in my honest opinion, I think it's one of the best ones out there is a Focustronics Mastertronic. Yes. So Carlos, tell me a little bit about this machine overall for people that does not know about this machine. Okay, so for people that don't know this machine, actually it, uh, it technically it's a machine that does testing of parameters. Sure. So it tests for calcium, mm -hmm. magnesium, phosphates, iodine, nitrates, nitrites, yeah. and iron. Got in addition to alkalinity as well. Right. But what sets this machine apart from yeah. every other machine is that it doesn't use its own reagents. It actually takes reagents from well-known reputable, reputable companies that we've been using for a while. So it'll take the phosphate reagents mm -hmm. from Red Sea, right. which we've all come to appreciate and right. rely on right. because, because of its accuracy. Right. And then you have this machine that instead of the human being actually drawing drops and milliliters, the machine does that automatically for you. Right. And it has a, 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 an optical eye yeah. that can measure the color. Right. And the beauty about it is that the optical eye is set to a particular color, so it's always going to measure at the same spot, unlike the human eye where if it's dark, if it's sunny, if you're using fluorescent or the tank light is on, which right. is bluish, then it changes the hue. Right. And then you have a, you know, red may not be is this red today dark might be different. Red? Is this dark red or like, is it like a pinkish or what exactly. kind of hue of red is this? Exactly. It's right. like, depending on the day, it's like, you know, today's red, it's going to be different from tomorrow's red. It's almost like a fashion red. Every right. year is different. Right. You know, you know, you're, are you, I think you touched a very good point over here. Um, like you said, you know, like for example, Red Sea that we, you just mentioned mm -hmm. is a NIST certified uh, test kit. Absolutely. Which is one of the highest standards that we could go, but only thing that could go, go wrong with that test is a lot of it is human error. Excellent. So, you know, like we are supposed to add X amount of reagents and then we could be missing XML. You know what? Your you know? kid's like pulling on your leg and says, Daddy, I want to go and play. Wait, right. wait. It's like, and then you're like four or five drops. Okay, five, whatever. Yeah. And then it, that throws out the test. Right. And then instead of going through that, try to judge what, you know, like what color it is to, because, you know, like that's the actual value of, their, of our test results. Exactly. Having a numerical value, it's just a lifesaver. And then I, I think we spoke of this like numerous times, you know, and if it's easy, people will do it. Yes, absolutely. And, and there's nothing easier than just setting, setting a schedule <laughs> and then forget about it. And then I get a notification on my phone that tells me your phosphates are 0 0.09. Yeah. You, you know, know I, besides the you guys at the Coral View, I was actually one of the first ones to receive this unit in the United States. You actually got it before I did. Is that right? Yes, you did. Oh my I, goodness. I, I wanted to check out how accurate this machine was. And it was, you know, funny thing was that I got a same sample and I pulled the water out. And at the same time I put the test, I t sent it out to an uh, ICP testing. Yes. And I took it to Triton. And the phosphate test that I did was actually pretty much on that. Yes. Not only that, it's like if you do it every day, every mm -hmm. day, you can you can see the accuracy. It's not like you're getting 0.5 and then spikes up to five or something. No, it's actually quite good. Yeah. And it makes sense because you have a syringe that is preset. As long as you keep the pumps and the syringes calibrated and you right. have to do that once every four to six weeks, yeah. then it's it's pretty much hands off. So what it does is you technically like, let's put an example of... Um, um, N nitrates. Okay. You know, nitrates. It uses Fauna Marine or right. Tropic Marine, whatever the, the test kit it is. And it, there's two reagents in there. Right. Okay. So what it does is you actually pour this two reagents into two bottles mm -hmm. and you put them into this carousel. Right. And then there is a syringe in two testing, two vials that, two testing beakers. And one, one is your testing beaker where the salt water and then the reagent is poured, stirred, and then measured. And then you have one next to it where, they, where the machine draws RLEI water. Yeah. And every time 
after a reagent, it rinses the syringe. Right. So technically, the machine grabs the syringe, moves it to the carousel, rotates the carousel, mm -hmm. grabs how many, how many milliliters of whatever reagent it needs and pours it into it, right. then rinses itself, and it repeats the process for as many uh, reagents as you want. And it yeah. actually weighs. So if the yeah. test kit says, wait 20 minutes right. between the two reagents, it will wait 20 minutes, not like cause. It says 20 right. minutes, is, uh, okay, it's 10 minutes, it's fine. You know, we'll do it. No, it's right, 20 right. minutes. And then after that, it'll stir it, measure with the optical eye, right, and then gives you the result. I mean, that's how simple it is. Gotcha. Technically, it's just a machine doing what I was doing for years yeah. before. And the one thing that, that is worth mentioning is that you kept on mentioning the optical eye. What I really was, you know, like kind of impressed you know, like what I really like about Eric from Focustronic is that he is an innovator. You yes. can kind of see it when you talk to him. Yes. And the optical eye that you're talking, there is a function that's called OLI. And yes. it's basically using the optical eye, it tells you what kind of color your water is. So if you need to change your, let's say change your water or change your carbon. Yes. So but if your water is not pristine, clear, if it's like it has a tint of yellow or something yep. like that, exactly. then it tells you. Then, then, so that you know it's time to change that carbon. You know it's time to do that water change. You know, or you can even go as further as, as to turn on your ozone reactor. There you go. Exactly. So you get every day you can measure this. And all it does is you, can, you have to create a base. When you first install the machine and when you install it, it actually grabs RODI water, which right. is clear. No yellowing at all. Mm -hmm. And it creates a set point. Right. And then it grabs water from your tank and it compares it right. to such set point. Mm -hmm. And at that point, then you can create a range. So if it's, you, obviously you're gonna have a little bit of a yellow, accept, a, 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 an acceptable level of yellow, yellowing. Mm -hmm. But after that, if it goes above that, then you can say, okay, Carlos, it's time to change your carbon. Or maybe you can automate it. So it's like, okay, you know what? Turn the ozone mm -hmm. for a couple of hours, right. bring it back down, and then measure again. So, and it takes absolutely no reagents because all it's doing is grabbing water from your tank, taking a snapshot of it, and right. then comparing it to the RLDI water, and that's it. So you can measure as many times as you want, and mm -hmm. it's gonna cost you no money because there's no reagent involved. Nice. You know, and then uh, talking about Eric being an innovator, uh, one of the features that, that I was really impressed from his previous machine from the Aquatronic was that it was one of the first machines that I have seen if there was a value that, that I get that was to, like completely different, like way off from its original value, it'll do a retest. Correct. So if you're doing, let's say, you know, like a, a dosing based upon that data that, that, that's given, it doesn't completely mess up your system. Absolutely. So does this unit apply the same technology as well? Yes, it does. So all the features, if you're a, an Alcatronic user and you've used to those features, yeah. then the Master Clank has all those features. So if your phosphates yesterday were 0.05, mm -hmm. let's say, and today, all of a sudden, it reads 0.2. Yeah. You know, all of a sudden, it's like, well, there's something wrong. There's too much of a gap. So right. let me go ahead and retest again. And if I come again and I test and it's 0.02, then it's okay. That is a perfectly good test. Yeah. And you know, that, that's what happens. But it could test again and it said, okay, the second time it wasn't that good. It was actually more close to what it was. Right. And it happened. So you can, you can, and the beauty about it is that you can actually turn that feature mm -hmm. or you can turn it back off. Gotcha. The drawback of the feature is that it does burn through reagent more because every right. time you have to retest, you right. have to use more reagent. The thing is, you know, like, and if you want the redundancy and stuff like that, I mean, you know, like reagent of test, how much, how much can it really cost? Maybe a dollar if that, at, yeah. at, at most, exactly. you know? No, it's not, it's not. I mean, because, yeah. I mean, Red Sea does, they're, they're a fantastic company. They, yeah. they actually sell you refill, refill kits. Yep. That's so you don't have to buy the plastic with the eye and the, and the yep. color, because that costs money. Yep. And that makes sense as for us as consumers. Um, actually, I just bought more reagents yesterday, mm -hmm. and I was just comparing prices, and it was like, I think it was $49 as a full kit for the yes. phosphate uh, pro kit. And then if I were to buy as a refill kit, it was like only like $27, $29, something yeah, like that. Around exactly. that range. You can get it through Amazon. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, it was so cheap. Right. And one thing that I was also very impressed was that... Um, you know, element that we don't really test in our hobby, but we severely like are lacking in our aquarium is iodine. Yes. And then it's something that, you know, because I mean, especially if you have a lot of like, you know, soft corals or anemones and stuff like mm -hmm. that, they suck those up real quick. I remember the old, day, old days when, you know, back in the, you know, early, late 90s, early 2000s, we used to actually 
add lugols to the tank. Right. You know, um, uh, obviously nowadays you probably wouldn't do it because you're adding too much. Right. But back in those days, we didn't know better. So we knew that we needed iodine. Right. So we dosed it. Yeah. You know? I remember doing that too. Yeah. And then, you know, but the thing is that, you know, that's, it's such a slippery route. You're blindly doing it. Right. You and know? because, you know, iodine kits before weren't, weren't very accurate to begin with. Yeah, no. And then we were going in blind, you know, like, you know, we always say like, don't test blind, you don't test, I mean, don't mm -hmm. dose without testing, mm -hmm. you know, but I mean, but that's what we were doing with iodine. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people were crashing their tanks because they're blindly doing it. Yes. So, but now we, with this tool, we're able to do um, dose iodine according to the actual need of the tank. And you know what? Another thing that I've noticed too, is that they keep pushing updates all the time because recently about a couple of, but three weeks ago or two yeah. weeks ago, they released a new update mm -hmm. where they actually test nitrites mm -hmm. because I testing nitrites mm -hmm. gives you a much accurate nitrate reading. Right. Yeah. So instead of just testing nitrates, mm -hmm. they actually now do a double test. One test for nitrites yeah. and then one test for nitrates. And yeah. then they give you the, the value, which right. is great. And, and you know what? For those people that are asking, it's like, okay, now I have to buy another test kit. Well, it turns no. out that the fauna marine, the nitrate test kit can also be used as a nitrite. nitrite. Yeah. It's just a different timing or something like, like that. Like different algorithm, I think. D different algorithm, but yeah. So what Jonas did is that Jonas, being a scientist, he knew that in order to get more accurate nitrates, you need to measure nitrites. Mm -hmm. So he's done that now. So every, you know, a couple, two weeks ago, they, two or three weeks ago, they released an update and all of a sudden yeah. now you can choose in there yeah. and it'll test nitrates. So now I know my nitrites yeah. and then I know my nitrates. And I've noticed that the nitrates, the reading was a little bit different, Yeah. but I'm, I, you know, obviously scientifically it's more accurate. Yeah. That's awesome. Now, one thing that also like I was pleasantly surprised when I first got this unit was a different app. Uh, you know, I was so used to the Aquatronic app and then, you know, like, um, I know this may be a thing for a lot of the iPhone users, but I use an Android phone. Yes. <laughs> and for, for some apps, Android isn't the best platform. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's just being me being honest, but they updated the whole app in general. And then they put this uh, Focustronic, Mastertronic app. Mm -hmm. And that has worked wonders. You know what I like about it, and I, I love this, is that I used to use the Alcatronic app for a long time. Yeah. The problem with the Alcatronic app that I personally didn't like is that it had to connect to your Alcatronic via Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. So in order for me to use the app, Get I had to near. be right near it. Yeah. But with, when they switched over to the Focustronic app, mm -hmm. then they pushed an update on the, on, the, on the Alcatronic that would allow me to actually access the Alcatronic via Wi-Fi. Yeah. So now I can actually open the app mm -hmm. and look at my Alcatronic readings, yep. make changes, and even start a test remotely, which is something that I couldn't do before. Yeah. And I thought that was a very good update yeah. for them because it just allowed a little more freedom for sure to what I can do especially for somebody like yourself yeah. who's traveling all the time yeah. if you need to make adjustments you can't be there you have to make adjustments from here right you know absolutely absolutely I, I really love the all the you know freedom that it gave, it gave yes. me with everything yes. I noticed that these are sold out pretty much everywhere um, yes how much do they usually go for and then when can we expect uh, like, okay, so how much does this unit cost and how, when can we expect next, next batch to arrive to US? Okay, so usually, you know, with, I, people ask me all the time and it's like the Mastertronic is around $1,200, mm -hmm. maybe $1,299, don't quote me on that. You can go to CoralView.com and, and look for it. That, that's where they give you the price. So please don't, don't take my word for granted. Carlos said $1,200 <laughs> because that's not it. So, and, and then in terms of shipping arrivals, I can't tell you, but you know what? If I, after the video, maybe mm -hmm. we can do a little write up or something in there and right, on, right. The, on the bottom of YouTube we'll, to we'll, show you right we'll, there. We'll harass Eric. Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly, we'll harass Eric. But now, you know, the, the problem with nowadays, today, in today world, and I, and I know people are sick and tired of hearing it, I am sick and tired of hearing it, and I'm sick and I'm frustrated to, 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 to the T right here, is the electronics shortage. Yeah. You know, it's like, we want to sell the product. Eric wants to sell the product, but Eric can't produce the units. He wants to produce the units, but you can't find the parts for it. 
Wow. And that's the that's the big problem that every electronic company is is is, is dealing with. Yeah. And then if you're able to produce them, unfortunately, then you ship them, yeah. and then they get stuck in the port and out there. sea, yeah. waiting for a port to open so they can dock. So um, uh, it's very frustrating for us as a company because we want to sell this stuff, mm -hmm. and and we can't. Or if we if we get them from Eric, you know, we order. We order 600 units. We only get 100. Mm -hmm. And I, and you know, and and, and and please don't don't go to Eric and say, well, you should ship more to the U.S. because that's not fair. Because so Eric is a world, it's, it's a worldwide company, right. so they have to be fair and ship to Europe, ship to Asia. Mm -hmm. So you know, every, you know, Eric has so many units, mm -hmm. and then he spreads them out evenly. Yeah. So yes, you know, everybody wants more, but they're only getting 100, or they're only getting 50. You know, it is what it is. I think right. it's everybody just needs, you know, we just need to be a little more patient, and then it'll catch up, you yeah. know? And I know, you know, people don't want to hear that, especially right now with Christmas. Right. It's gonna hit us big time. And if you yeah. Google if you Google shipping delays, I mean, you'll find from- Oh yeah, I'm from, pretty sure everybody is aware of From the now. left and the right, the yeah. one thing that we, call, we can all agree is yeah. that it, there are shipping delays. Yeah, delays. You know, shipping delays, and then the, the the rise of the the cost of the shipping. I and know. Yeah, well, it's, just driving today, and you guys saw here in Chicago, it was almost it was five dollars for a, for a, for a gallon yeah. of gas. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that now we're talking five gallons for a gallon of gas. That's getting close to what Europeans pay for gas. Yeah, I, mean, I can't even I can't I can't even imagine the how much the petrol price is in Britain right now. I mean, exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. I mean, the only reason why we get a break here in the United States is because of our buying power. Right. That's it. But you know, a small country, whew, I can't even imagine. Yeah. So yeah, no. It, it, again, I know people are sick of hearing it, but you know, it's the honest. I want to be 100% transparent. It's like we want to sell it, but we just can't. Yeah. You know, there are other products that we want to sell too, and we can't because we just don't have inventory because yeah. the manufacturer can't get it. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, guys. So thanks for watching this video, this in-depth video of Mastertronic with one of the masters of these type of products himself, Char uh, Carlos of CBTV. <laughs> Carlos, thank you for so much for having us here. No, thank you for coming over. And like I said before, you guys are more than welcome anytime you want. Thank you so much. And we will get back to you with more in-depth video with Carlos very, very soon. Have a good day, guys. Good day. Bye. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching the video. We got here. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Ha, 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 ha.